I put the username and serial number in, and I'm just going to go forward from this. And hey, this is a video. So this is not Frame Maker. Okay. So I do install, then it just does this. And so you'll see in the background it's doing some. I'm not sure what it's doing. <laughs> now there's one change that needs to be made, and I had that on my blog. I might as well go over and get it. The computer, the printer that I have over here. See the inside of my garbage can. <laughs> It's like a it's like a bad slideshow. Here's here's the Konica that acts as a scanner and it sends uh, scans over to that server back there and then moves them over to our shared subdirectory where everybody can get to it and we can rename them and put these documents where they belong. And I've accumulated two shelves of junk that used to hold junk that I've taken out of its uh, paper or physical condition, such as tapes and uh, piles of paper, and turned them into PDF files, and I've saved a whole lot of space so far. Here's my printout of my blog, because... Oh, here's the printout of the uh, Lotus Organizer page that I took. Just for you special people. I don't need a blank piece of paper. I'm an SMMS. Okay, here's me bitching about the cost and how slow it is, and all the guesses people took and all the searches I took to try to figure out what the hell was wrong. And the solution, oh wow, why is it doing that? I didn't do that before. Serious problem, does it matter? I wonder if the serious problem is that it won't phone home anymore. Okay. And we're finished, and up there, now the thing is, I have to give myself, when you use Wine, you have to give yourself permission to execute, and suddenly you have an icon. We have an icon! Okay, and I'm pretty much done with that. Now, the one thing I want to do before I even go in here, because I don't want it phoning home every other day, slowing my... Adobe experience down to a crawl for no reason but to verify I own this fucking thing and I bought the damn thing, so yes, I own it. There is a registry key entry that you have to do in Wine, and this Wine is different than the other Wine. Uh, the setup is in a different area, and so I've got to go into my home directory, and again, I'm going to view the hidden files, and I wish that would stay the same. That's one thing I don't like about GNOME. I do talk a lot. Here's one. There's my drive C, but I need to go back because I'm looking for a system reg, I believe. And what I'm going to look for is the equivalent. This is the registry in one. You know, you, you don't type reg at it. These are, these are files that are created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for FlexNet licensing service. And I'll just say right now, uh, you don't do this to circumvent anything. I'm doing this because I own this. Okay. Um, look for flex. There's a lot, but basically somewhere in here. I think I should put licensing in here. I, I, you know, we, we, we bought a license for every user in this office, so there, there's really no reason to, for anybody to even bitch about this at all. In fact, I'm doing them a favor. You know, maybe someone wants to use Linux, and their barrier to using Linux, or you know, they have a choice between two a PDF editing applications, and 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 uh, I've shown them how to run. <laughs> Adobe Pro and Linux, why they might just choose that over the other app, you know, there's, there's no reason to be pissed. Okay, uh, FlexSite Licensing Service at 1, I think it should be a 4. There's one that has a 3 in it, oh, here it is, right here. Start D word. Change it from a 3 to a 4. Four. And these are editable. You, I am the owner of this. I've saved it, and now should be good to go to start this puppy up.
I accept the invisible license agreement because I've already read it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do some more stuff.